In this video, we are going to see how to add completed Todoist tasks to Microsoft Excel. So let's say you're using Todoist as a task manager and you want that every time there's a new task added, this task should be added as a new row in your Excel spreadsheet. So how can you do this? For this, you will have to integrate these two applications and these two applications can get integrated using Public Connect software where this entire process will get automated. Here, your trigger application would be Todoist and your action application would be Microsoft Excel. Now, how would you do it yourself? To know that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, first we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we click on enter, it will take us to the landing page of the software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to click on this tab, sign up and here it will not take two minutes. At the time of account creation, you will also get 100 free tasks. So now, since I'm an existing user here, I'm simply going to click on sign in. And now it has taken me to the All Apps page. Here, since we are doing this integration using Public Connect software, let's click on Access now. Now it has taken us to the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side again, you can see a blue tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box appears, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is that every time a task is completed on Todoist. So that information should be stored on my Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to name it as Todoist to MS Excel integration. And now I'm going to click on create. So once done here, you can see this particular window, which has got two very important events, trigger and action. Triggers and actions are basically those two concepts or principles on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, basically the start of the reason why this workflow should start and action is the response to it. So here my trigger the application would be Todoist. So I'm going to look for Todoist here. And let's click on this. Now the trigger event. Trigger event is basically the workflow will start only when this event happens. So here my event is task completed. So every time the task is completed, then only this workflow will run. Now here you can see a webhook URL. What is this webhook URL? So basically to connect to applications, you need a bridge. This webhook is going to act as a bridge there. I'm going to copy this down and then follow these steps so that, you know, I can create a connection between Public Connect and Todoist. Here, first we have to log into our Todoist account. I have already done that. Click on create a new app button at the app management console. For this, I'm going to open this in a new tab. And here you can see this tab, create a new app. So here, let's say the name of my app is Todoist Excel integration and now I'm going to click on create app so once done if I take you back to public connect it is asking that click on create test token button so for this again we'll have to scroll down and here is our create test token tab let's click on this and now Again, what is it asking? Now in the bottom section, you can find the webhook setup area, put the above URL and opt for item completed. So I'm going to copy this down, go back here and here we can see the webhook callback URL. I'm going to paste it here and here the events I have to tick on item completed. So done and then activate webhook. So here it is saying that the webhook has been successfully configured. Going back to Public Connect, here it is waiting for a webhook response. Basically, it is asking us to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So I'm going to take you to my Todoist account now. And here there are these projects. You can always create a project by clicking on this plus icon. I have already created a project. The name is Todoist Integration. Here you can create tasks. It is very easy. So you just have to tab on this red button and you can add different tasks. I've already created two tasks, demo task one and demo task. So now let's say that my demo task one is now complete. So I'm going to click on this. As soon as I do that, it is done. Going back to public connect. 
here let's wait to see if we have received the api response and yes we have received the api response data content which means the name of the task is demo task one here you can see data added which means this demo task was added in our task manager on this particular date it was completed on this particular date the description is project points to be discussed and then we have here due date here you can see that the event name is item completed now who has initiated this this is the email address and this is the name of the person so we have received the entire information now what do we want we want the same information to go to my excel sheet for that i'm going to choose my next application as excel microsoft excel and now the action event here i want that this information should be added on my spreadsheet as a new row so let's click on the second option and click on connect now here public connect is asking to connect itself with the microsoft excel account for this i'm going to click on add new connection and then click on connect with microsoft excel as soon as i do that here it is asking me to pick an account so i have picked it and now we have to provide it the access so that it can gather the information let's click on x and now we can see that the authorization has been successful so now here you can see that microsoft excel is now connected with public connect so now we have to now map the information basically the name of the workbook and the worksheet so here we already have created a workbook let me show you the different columns are task name task description date added due date date completed initiators name and initiators email now this is just a demo sheet you can always create your sheet with all the information that you wish to have the workbook is to do its details and the worksheet is sheet one so i'm going to map this information so to do is details is the name of my workbook and now this worksheet has already been captured because there was only one worksheet then we have the task name so here let's map the data so if i go here and then this is the name of my task let's click on this now we have the task description so let's find the task description so this is our task description and then we have date added so if i'll take you back to my response so here the dates that we have received are not in the correct format so here i'll have to add another feature by pably i'm going to add another action step and the name of this feature is date time formatter so let's click on this and now the action event here would be format date only let's click on connect and now here the date required so i'm going to map this information i've already told you mapping means that we have already received this information in our previous steps and we are just going to retrieve this is the date so this is the date added which and now this is the same format so, so i want this in year month and date so year month and date is this format let's click on this and now i'm going to click on save and send test request so i have received this information i'm going to repeat this process and then action event would be format date only let's click on connect and i'm going to map this information so next we have the completed date so and then the form format is going to remain the same and two format would be year month and date done now click on save and send test request and yes here we have received this information so now coming back to microsoft excel i'm quickly going to reset the connection once so let's save the existing connection so we have date added for this we'll go to the second step and this is my date then the due date this will get from the first step itself so here let's find the due date and this is it so then we have the date completed for this we are going to go to the third step this is the date completed and now the initiator's name again i'm going to go to the first step initiator's name so this is pably and finally we have the email address so again it is initiator's email address
So we have received this. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. Now here you can see that we have received all this information and it is saying that this information has been shared on our Excel sheet. So I'm going to take you to my Excel sheet now and quickly refresh the page. And yes, we can see that we have received this entire information, task name, demo task one, task description is this, then we have date added, due date and date completed. Initiator's name is Pabli and the email address is this. So this basically means that this integration process that we have just created is totally successful. Now, but we have to check this in real time as well. So I'm going to go back to my to do page. And this is the second task that we had created. I'm going to finish this task as well. So as soon as this task is completed, again, we should receive the information on our Excel sheet. So let's go back to our Excel sheet and refresh the page. So yes, here you can see that the second task is also here with the description, which means we have successfully integrated Todoist and Microsoft Excel. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and quickly understand the process that we have done so that you do not have any doubts. So basically this was a, just a two step integration process where we had used a feature by Pabli, which was date time for matter. The first trigger application was Todoist and the event was task completed. Then the second step was action application was Microsoft Excel and the event was add row to worksheet. The information in date format, the date format was not appropriate and that is why we had chosen this feature by Pabli which was date time formatter. So I hope this is very much clear to you. In case you have any doubt then you can always refer to the workflow. This same workflow is given in the video description. And also you can clone this workflow and start to process immediately. In case you have any other suggestion or advice, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.